So Lenny, we finished nine points down in the end, started off strongly against Port, sort of fell away in the middle and came back at the end. How did you see it all unfold? Yeah, I thought we started really well, um, really competitive from the start. We are winning the clearances, getting in inside 50 and we took our chances, so it was a really pleasing start. The second, probably periods, you know, 10 minute periods in the second and third quarter where we dropped away a little bit, but overall it was a lot better than last week and, and that's what we sort of asked from each other was, you know, we wanted to improve on last week and, you know, that wasn't acceptable and I thought today was a lot better. You know, still disappointed we didn't get the win, but, um, you know, looking forward, I think some really positive signs. Some encouraging signs from the young guys that are, you know, going to be played a lot this year. As a senior player who will miss, you know, the first week of, of, the, of the season, how do you think they're going to go? Thanks for bringing that up, Bree. Um, yeah, look, I think they're going to go really well. So I reckon we've got pretty good depth through the midfield. You know, Savage has come in and Lukey Dunstan, you know, looks like he's been playing for 10 years. Um, it's only his third game, so you know Jack Billings has had a bit in there. Um, you know David Armitage in really good form. You know Clint Jones. Um, so there's a number of guys. Jaron Geary's played a little bit more through the midfield as well. So I'm I'm really confident that we'll go in round one and you know and uh, we'll put up a very good very good show. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Obviously disappointed that Joe and I won't be there, um, but you know we'll be working really hard and make sure we're ready to go for round two. There's an article in the paper today that Richo was sort of talking about how the year he thinks will play out and the role of the senior guys now wanting to leave a legacy. From a personal point of view, what, what are your hopes for this year? I just want us to be ultra competitive, you know, in every game that we play. Um, you know, I'm not focusing too much on results because, you know, you can't really control those. But what we can do is control our effort and, and that's what we want to do. So it starts with the leaders and we have to be doing that week in, week out and really setting the example for the rest of the team. And, um, and that's what we'll be doing. And, and we just want to be really hard to play against, you know, and I'm sure we'll get wins along the way. So, um, look, it's, it's exciting. Um, there's a lot of really good young guys who are going to be at the club for a long time. And I'm just wrapped to be around and, and try and lead the way and, and be part of that as well. On that note, members that are still deciding whether to join up for this year, what would be your message to them? Sign up. You're kidding yourselves if you haven't yet. So, look, it's um, you know being part of a football club, you got to you got to ride the bumps. And you know, obviously, this footy club's had a few, um, and and being part of it for a long time, I've had some ups and downs myself. But you know, you got to step up, and uh, we're trying to do that as players. And we urge all the supporters who haven't uh, signed up yet to to please sign up. It means a lot to us. Um, we really uh, you know, respect uh, our members putting, putting them hard earned up and getting along to support us each week and, and hopefully they'll see a really competitive side out this year. Great, thanks very much. Thanks, Brooke. Yeah, really